Hey everybody, welcome to this week's market update where we're going to be discussing the Central Florida area for the month of May. So this will include data from May 1st to May 13th and I'm looking forward to pointing out for you. So let's get started. So as always, I am covering your Castleberry market, your Oviedo market, Winter Park Market, Longwood Market, Winter Springs, Orlando, and then we'll take a little look into the future of what I'm currently seeing. So let's start off with the Castleberry Market. The Castleberry Market, we currently have 60 active listings. Uh, that is four less than we had a week before. Uh, median list price decreased by $200 to $379,700 of the active listings. Uh, days on market increased by seven days to 49 days. Um, pending sales, we currently have 10 pending sales in the Casper area, uh, which is up by five. We have 18 sold homes, which is an increase of 14 so far. Uh, median price of those sold homes for the month is $362,500. That is a $37,000 decrease. Now, being that we were only going off of four sold homes, as we get more homes, there's a chance it's gonna fluctuate a little bit before it evens off. Uh, days on the market, <clears throat> we're down eight days to 17 days, which is also expected. Now let's dive right into the Oviedo market. So with Oviedo, we currently have 105 active listings. That's an increase of nine active listings from last month, last week's report. Uh, median list price is 549,125, uh, which is an increase by $28,000. Uh, days on the market is 25 days. So that went up by one day, or yeah, one day. Pending, we currently have 28 pendings in the Oviedo area, which is an increase of 16. And then we have also 18 sold, which is an increase of 15 for Oviedo. Uh, the median sold price did jump by $147,500 up to $542,500. Uh, nine days on the market, which is an increase by six for the month of May so far. Now let's dive into Winter Park. Winter Park, we've got 247 active listings, which is an increase of eight. Uh, $610,000 median list price for those active listings, which is slightly up by 10K. And then 52 days on the markets pretty much stay stagnant. Pendings, we are up 24 pendings, so we're up to 38 pendings in that area. And then sold, we are up, 30 through, up by 15 to 33 week over week. Um, for the sold homes, also the median sold price went up by $33,000 to $493,000. And then the days on market went down by one week over week. So let's move on to Longwood. Longwood has 147 active listings, only went up by two week over week. Um, now the median sales price did drop by 30 k to four ninety nine nine hundred, and the days on market decreased by two to forty two days. Pendings have um, jumped up sixteen uh, days to thirty days, or sixteen pending listings to thirty listings, and then we got the sold data of nineteen sold homes in the month of May thus far. That's a thirteen sold home increase week over week. Uh, $460,000, which decreased by $21,500 for Longwood. And then we're also up to 34 days on market, which is a 12-day increase. All right, moving into Winter Springs. So Winter Springs, we have 87 active listings, which actually went down by nine. And that's not a good sign for buyers looking in the Winter Springs market because it's less homes. Less inventory, you're going to end up wanting to outbid people because you're going to get very competitive. Uh, the listing price, median list price, is four forty nine nine hundred, which is a decrease of seventy six hundred dollars. 
And then the days on market is 32 days, which increased by six days. So 29 pending listings, which is up 14 uh, compared to last week. And then for sold listings, we're at 19 with increase of 14 sold listings. <clears throat> that one, the median sales price went down by 59510 to $380,000, $490. So, and then days on market stayed stagnant at 13. Now let's go ahead and take on this last area that we're covering today of Orlando, the big behemoth of a market for us. So it's 2,438 homes, uh, which is an increase of 65 actives, $389,000 median price, list price, which is just slightly up at $4,000 increase. 45 days on the market, which is only up by one day. Pendings, we went from up by 251 pendings to 439 total pendings in the Orlando market. Now let's take a look at the sold data. 341 homes have sold, which increased by 156 in the last week. Uh, this is a pretty close number. Median sales price decreased by 40 dollars to four hundred thousand dollars so not a big decrease there and then it increased three days for 26 days on the market now let's see what i can predict for y'all so median prices seem to be leveling off a little bit now that we have a little bit more data um what it's all showing me with the way the data is moving is that you know you you read in the news how the world's falling, everything's ending, real estate market's horrible, blah, da, 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 da. But at the end of the day, for us locally, the Orlando market, we're very stable. The interest rates have been pretty stagnant for a little bit, um, going up, 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 but it's not impacting our local economy when it comes to real estate. Homes are still moving, people still have to sell, people still have to buy. Um, prices are still inching upwards, slowly but surely. So um, one big thing that I like to use my crystal ball for is let you know, you should shop. You know, you always hear, oh, shop your realtor. Da, da, da. Well, you should also shop your lender. Um, don't believe what you hear in the news because interest rates gives you an idea where mortgage interest rates are, but it's not always a thing. Lenders have different products that can help you out with high interest. You know, our job is to solve that problem get you in the right uh, wheelhouse. Um, I was talking to a lender friend of mine from Addition Financial, and she was telling me about one of their products, which is super cool. It was a what they call a 5-6 arm. And, you know, arms you always hear don't do because it's a just rate mortgage, it's a trap. Well, when you get high interest rates, arms become more popular. And the adjustable rate mortgage arm It'd be you locked in for five years at whatever interest rate they put you at, which with arms, a lot of times they're slightly lower than what the going rate is. So there's a win. Um, and then after you have five years, it refinances to whatever the going rate is every six months. But here's the coolest thing about their five, six arm. Not only does it adjust like that, but like the key to an arm so you don't get in trouble is refinancing. Many people don't like the idea of refinancing because if you refinance, you're going to be at whatever it costs to refinance the home and you don't want to spend those sunken costs. Well, with this arm, you're able to refinance with no charge to you. So go ahead and do it that one time when the rates get down to something you're more comfortable with. So it's a win-win and you get to that 30-year fixed. So, but shop your options, see what's out there, talk to your realtor, strategize it's really the best thing and of course fed is still not cooperating interest rates are still fluctuating 30-year fix is still around 6.9 uh 15-year fix is still around 6.375 and then the fha is still around 6.75 um so but hopefully we're going to get some data soon that might be showing us in the right direction that might help out our mortgage rates but as of this second Oh boy, it's a tough one out there. But hey, you know, if you have any questions, connect with me. We'd love to hear from you.
Um, you know, I want to be able to help you if I can. And, you know, this has been a great. So till then, I'll see you next week at our next show uh, where we'll see how the data is going and see if we are improving or moving in a good direction. So, but share this um, and I will talk to you all later. Have yourself a good rest of your Monday.